Hi everyone, another quick update. Okay, so uh, same circuit driver as before. Uh, I've got a couple things added. Uh, these few LEDs uh, just off the collector uh, doing the back EMF thing. <clears throat> and um, if you see in the schematic here, I've got those are the uh, LEDs there uh, collecting the back EMF. And that's the protection diode there, protection LED. And uh, what's cool is the uh, charging battery that I've got added off the uh, bottom of the remote coil there. And uh, we'll see about uh, improving things further. Okay, so here's the waveform I've got just on this little you know, sensing uh, thing, piece of aluminum. Okay, it's about 1.6 megahertz uh, when I got it all tuned uh, tuned in. Um, okay, so here it's kind of cool because off the AV plug uh, we've got that one LED in series with the charging battery and that is uh, going really nicely okay and we'll see the uh, protection LED and those ones go in there so now we'll uh, take off that and uh, you'll see there's not much change with or without that charging uh, LED battery And um, so now, if uh, we take off uh, what's stopping the nice ringing going up the uh, secondary, or uh, sorry, the remote coil there, now we'll change the proximity of uh, these two together. So I'll just rotate it inwards a bit. This would be too close. Too far. Okay, so now we'll look at the protection LED. We'll look at it square on. Then we'll look at this guy. and we got like a halo around it and uh, that is uh, a brighter light than the uh, um, than the activity on the on the board anyway uh, which may not be a big deal but um, I think it's pretty interesting and uh, especially because there's uh, a big field coming off both of these coils um, and when you get them just in the right distance you get uh, more brightness on the uh, charging battery which is in series with uh, that LED uh, so basically there's that voltage is added up and still to get that brightness while it's under load is a really nice thing and uh, when we had those uh, LEDs on the collector I can't really hopefully that stays in there um, we can adjust it again to get the same if not more again brightness with all these LEDs connected across the collector and emitter and now when I remove uh, the 
connection, uh, connecting these two to charge. So we'll watch now. Watch for any fluctuations on the on the on the driver side. It barely phases it when you add or remove the load. These ones it does matter how many you have in series. So, adjust this again. Perfect. So now, that's just really cool. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoy. It's pretty hard to draw this stuff out on the phone, but uh, I think I got it all on there. You'll have to uh, play with your own values, but uh, if you've got a meter, inductance meter, and uh, uh, and you can capture some sort of uh, wave, then you can tell, you know, just uh, what frequency it's going to be. Yeah, 1.6 megahertz. And I can change that with uh, changing the top loads, add or remove or change the size. Um, and then you can just uh, change the LC combinations and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, it's really nice to load the back EMF, still get superior brightness than uh, the uh, the driver LED and uh, along with it being loaded there's a slight fluctuation when you add and remove it but um, yeah, it's a really nice sign talk to you guys later bye